Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Say hi, Levi. Come. <laughs> That was so funny. He is a funny guy. For all of you guys who think we're ignoring our pets, just know we have a routine with them. Like, before we do anything with the horses, these guys get taken care of. Levi gets and out the it. minute we walk in the door. Right? Woo. Right? Anyway, um, yeah, it's true. I did not brush my hair yet. <laughs> we do not brush your hair anymore. Like, how do you brush your hair? Half horses. I did not brush it yesterday, though. Yeah, yeah, we, we don't brush our hair anymore. Like, barely. It's hard, you guys. Anyway, we are just getting ready to go down and be with our horses, feed them. So yesterday it worked really well, right, Levi? It's like, you always leave me! We're expecting a huge storm. Um. Anyways, so uh, yeah, we are going down to the barn. Uh, some of you guys might know that we tried a horse yesterday. We tried a horse. People are like, who's the horse for? Who's the horse for? Me! No, Gabby has a horse. Yeah, that's right. Mostly for me, but you have a horse too. Mm. I cannot ride her. Okay. She's mom's horse. So here's the thing. We need to work our way up to being bonding with Stella. Stella, there's nothing wrong with Stella. She's a normal, completely normal horse. She no, has... She just is do you want a dead... No, she's not even that overweight anymore. Do you want a dead horse that just stands there and does nothing? Or do you want a feisty, friendly, fun horse? I want, want a horse. friendly, fun horse. Just not feisty. Yeah, so basically, I want a spirited horse. You don't want a spirited horse? Oh, she's I just want to be a want... spirited horse. Who cares? That's then you then you learn to stay on. What? No, no. You have break more bones. And I told the girl who owns him, the first time I jumped, the first two times I jumped an ox, or I fell off. So not only are we not brushing our hair, but we're not even matching our clothes anymore, except for this one over here. Except she's, for so why are you dressed in riding clothes? Because I'm riding today, look at outside, like... So you have a lesson, it's our lesson with race car driver, but it's supposed to be a huge snowstorm, right? And he gets home today. Yeah, from his vacation, he's in Vegas right now. Is that, isn't it summer there? Isn't it summer there every single day? It's nicer than here, that's for sure. Can I, can we go there? We have horses, we're not going anywhere, sister. No, he has horses too. Oh yeah, he has horses too. Anyway, welcome to today, and let's go down and feed our girls, and um, we have lots in store today. Uh, also, we're going to introduce Willow and uh, Stella together in the same small paddock today, but we're also gonna make a few changes. I'll show you guys when we're down there. It is cold, you guys, it's so cold. We have to take the van down because we have to carry water. As soon as it gets warm out, let me tell you, the minute there's some heat, the water will be hooked up down there. But as of now, we're carrying water, carrying our food, because we keep our beef pump in the house so it doesn't freeze. Let's go oh, get our horses. Guys, um, a non-copyrighted song that we can um, let you hear. Yeah, we have music in the car. You guys hear it? Okay, question of the day. Let's see how many people will participate. What is this song? We use this song in one aspect of our videos every single time. Don't, don't tell them. We put it, anybody who's a diehard fan will know that we play this song on every time we do something specific with our horses. Okay, so comment below. What do we use this song for? It's called... Oh, we did it. How are we supposed to know who's a diehard fan and beep who's guessing? Yeah, I'll have to beep it out. Left Willow stall open. Hi, sweet girls, as you can see out. Hello. Hi. Yeah, the girls are jealous. Hi. They're like, why? Turn on the light. Oh god, lots of poops. I always feel panicked. Anyway, yeah, we left this open last night. Oh, you want out or you want your grain? Good girl. 
Seriously, why would you go in here? Because I get so excited too. <laughs> so we have this thing. Last night we came in to check on our dad and I. She was laying down. Just yeah. Cute. You are such a cutie. She's like, get me my hair. <laughs> yeah, she likes it to be held for her. You know, like it would be hard for. Well, Lisa, at least the trunks that are in here. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Wait, she needs more water and manners. manners. People on the internet manners. think that we let you do whatever you want. You can stay over there till I place your food. Hey. Okay. All right. So our goal each morning now is to leave. Oh my! You are a messy girl. I don't know if that's called being messy in your stall, but that's kind of messy. It's hard for us to just leave poop laying around. Anyway, we're gonna feed our horses and go back up, open their door so that they have lots of sun and light. Here. Yeah, let's let's do a little bit of mucking. Let me just see no, 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 Stella's no, no. water. Oh, she drank a bucket of water, no. almost. And it looks messy in there because she makes it messy. We give her clean water, you guys. She's a messy drinker, so it was, a sloppy eater. It was the problem that no other horse were here. Do you think that's what it was? Uh -huh. Yeah. But uh, Willow was here for a whole weekend before Stella finally decided to drink. It took exactly seven days for her to, to buckle down and drink. Ruby's in love with these days. See, this is fresh water here. Fresh water here. Did Stella, did, Will, did Willow drink her water? Check it, make sure it's not. She ate her head. Good. Can you pop it? Okay, pop it because I don't think there's enough uh, pull. Wall. So I think. Wait, guys, what? Hear that? That's Stella being noisy. Yeah. Can you pass me the um, breaking ice stick? Yeah, where's our breaking the, ice stick? Uh, it's in the feed room. In the feed room. Poor Willow. I don't know. Her water gets frozen. Like she's she's in a good spot because she can see out really well, but this stall is colder. No, come on, give it to Gabby. Is this one frozen? That one. So today's gonna be scary because I'm gonna open this door and I'm gonna put something in front of it to make sure that she doesn't go out. I don't think she could climb underneath that or jump over, but you never know. Like with our kind of luck, <laughs> it could happen. So when we come back, we will, um, so we're gonna go home, do, I'm gonna do some chores, we're gonna do homeschool, uh, we're gonna have lunch, and then we're gonna come back and redo what we did yesterday with letting the horses out. But with a twist today, Stella and Willow are gonna actually like be on the same side of the fence. And we're gonna take Stella for a big long walk around the arena a few times before we let her free to maybe burn off a little bit of energy. Spooky out here today. A little bit of snow in the arena. I don't know where that came from. Is that weird? Like right in the middle of the arena? That's odd. Good girl. I'm leaving this door open like we do every day um, because, uh, but I put that there because well, I- Well, can jump. She can't jump that. Minis can jump this, trust me. I Ruby just want to make sure it. it's safe. Ruby can jump. Yeah, Ruby but probably could. So she could. I'm gonna make, get, it. yeah, well, hopefully she doesn't try. Um, 
I'm okay. gonna get Sam to make this fit there as a gate so that I can use it all the time just oh, to so keep like there. I can go. <laughs> yeah, so much better. But anyway, yeah, I don't want her to get out. To get out. The worst I love thing her. She'll do is probably go in the arena. Like or mom. Did she move her grain bucket there? No, I didn't. You did? Okay, well you need to put it away. I don't want her stepping in it. Uh, there's so much grain. I know, we leave it. She takes all day to eat her grain and that's okay, but I don't want her to step in that bucket. And then there's Miss Happy Pants over here. She's a lot happier, you guys. Yes, you are. You're so much more settled. I can't wait to take that blanket off. I like see skinny in there. I see thinner. We take them in the arena later and introduce them again to each other. Like a little bit each day, but today they're gonna get to be together and I probably uh, um, don't know. It's gonna scare the heck out of me, but. Are you cold? I'm not gonna scare the heck out of me. I like are him you so. Cold? No, are you? No. I'm so excited and I think it's gonna go well. These pants are really warm. And for all of you guys who are saying, you guys shouldn't be scared. I think a bit of ha healthy fear, I think a little bit of fear is healthy. Keeps you safe, makes you realize you need to hide behind the door. <laughs> like so be hiding behind the door yesterday. Oh, you're so pretty. Yeah, she got fresh water in there. She got her grain, she got her hay. She got all the poop picked out, but we will do a better job when we come back. We'll do a better job after lunch, at lunchtime. We come down around noon. Yes, because it's not fair for her. Like, So I don't want her staying in a stall all the time. That's why I try to make it as much like being outside as possible. Um, I am worried about her paddock right now because there's ice on it and it's got snow on it and she doesn't know where everything is out there yet and I am paranoid about the going outside. So that's going to be a whole process too. And if you guys think we're holding them back a little, we might be, but safe. Like when you don't know everything yet, like I'd rather be safe than sorry. Right, Willow? Uh, Farrier coming to do her feet tomorrow. Woo woo! See, she's excited. <laughs> Aww, good girl. Stella, um, hopefully we'll know by Friday if she can be off stall rest. You ready to be off stall rest, pretty girl? It's cold over here. You got the cold. The cold. Uh, the reason Stella's wearing a blanket is because she is acclimatized to blankets. She's been wearing a blanket. It is cold out. Freezing cold, it's cold here, so she has a blanket. Still, uh, Willa didn't, Willow did not have a blanket. She has a really nice, beautiful coat, and I do not want to mess with that. I don't want all her hair to fall out like Stella's. Um, and she's inside, so she doesn't really need one. Um, also, when she moves to the paddock, she'll be able to go in and out, so the arena will be like a big shelter for them, so she still won't need one. I mean, I want to buy one, though, because I want her to be cute. And eventually, well, we will be finding some really fun, amazing bling for our little girl. Right? I need to tell you guys something funny about Cookie and Toby. But first, Mom looks like a zombie. My glasses, my glasses are all fogged up. Cookie and Toby just see us getting ready, and then they rush into their cage. I know. They love their cage. And Macy runs to the nearest blank and lays down. Oh, when I opened the door, I was the first one to come in. So when I opened the door, um, my dog was sitting right here wagging her tail like, Hey, Mom, what are you doing? Hi. Excuse my not being able to see you. Um, but it's true. So we always put our dogs in a crate before we leave them because little dogs and yeah. Anyways, um, we forgot to lock the cage and Cookie and Toby stayed in the cage. Yeah, and Macy came out. No, Macy never went in. Macy never oh. ever went in. Oh. Cookie and Toby just run in by Yeah, them. isn't that the cutest thing though? Here is two. Yay. Toby knows the cage is safety. Yeah, that's his special Our place. It is a blizzard, you guys. It's, oh, we're having 35 centimeters of snow in the next by tomorrow afternoon. And it is cold and windy and we're headed down to the barn, play with our horses, give them more water, give them more hay. Next time we don't leave that door open. Yeah, I will. You know what, it's not too bad in here. It's snow in the arena though. Hi, sweetness. Aw, she likes it, you guys. She's still getting oh, used to us. She wants us, yeah. Her ice, her water is frozen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Say hi, people. A lot of people really like you, Willow. I feel like, oh, that's Gabby out there making noise. 
Let me give Stella some food. Poor Stella. <laughs> when they throw it at the wall, it cracks me up. I gotta be real. I don't understand the whole mucking out thing. Like, there's gotta be a, a better way. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, the, okay, the pitchfork, you can't even get it through shavings. Like, it doesn't just scoop up shavings. Anyway, Sophie took the pitchfork from me and was like, well, let me do it. I don't know how to pick. Like, it's dumb. Can you go grab I feel water? like before this journey is finished, I'm going to find a better way to muck stalls. And for all of you guys who are thinking, like, that's the way it's done. It's been, like, done like that in a million years. Um, yeah, that's true, but it's dumb. Like, is bucking and rearing and having a little hissy fit. She is mad. She's trying to jump. Like, lost the door, Sophia. Whoa! She's like, she's imagine. Bucking. Did you guys put hay over there first? So, addition to hay today. But Willow, is, she's nervous in this arena maybe because she can hear the snow. The snow? No, oh. she rolled. That's what Did she roll? Yeah. yeah, when they roll, that's when trouble's about to start. Yes. Hi, Hi sweetness. Oh, gosh, you guys. Such a good little pony. Whoa. <laughs> Don't run on the ice. Like, we're the moms that are all like, be careful, don't slip. Yeah, she needs her feet done. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not cool. <laughs> well, that's good. She's got some good sounds going on. <laughs> Yay! Don't hurt anything. You're okay. Don't shush her away from you. Let her come. Everybody keeps on running to remind us that she's still a horse and she could still hurt us. We know. Oh, we know that. Yeah, like, I love that nose. I love that crooked nose. Willow is the perfect horse for us because she's... Oh, hey. She is a perfect example of... You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. She's a good example of Stella right now. And Stella's having a little bit of hay and then she's going to come out. Stella's just going to eat that. We're letting Willow burn off some energy first though. So can you guys hear the yeah. snow? It's a bit spooky. Like I don't know. Good girl. Good girl. You're okay. She's going to roll again. You're okay. Roll over. She's like, scratch my chin. Does she look like she's gotten fatter since we got well, her? It's warmer if my hand's like in this part. In this part of my coat. Does that she look fatter? She's still fat, like the same. <laughs> it looks like me. It doesn't know. Good girl. All right, get ready. She's going again. She's itchy. Or just getting her tank down there so that Stella does not, um... She's so only going to wipe the same spot. I feel like today is not a good day to bring Stella out. Yeah. I know. I know. We're going to go up the snow. Let's not bring her out today. <laughs> I want... Oh. oh. Sassy. So she's supposed to get her nails Go. trimmed tomorrow, but I don't know, with Hooves. the bad weather, her hooks. Whoa! Scared. Oh, look, she, she, she. Itchy. She's itchy. Probably. You should give her a brush. We're thinking we're not going to let Stella out today yeah, because of the spook I factor. Do no. I know, it's snowing inside. Oh, see? You can see there's like a little hole up there in the middle. And then there's. Whoa! <laughs> All right, so clearly this is you. This girl is feeling good today. Yes. She wants to come in here and be in here with Stella. You can do it. Go buck your little heart out. Like I already did. <clears throat> oh, 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 look at how good she is. She comes right up to us. Like she wants to be touched and she's getting used to us. <laughs> And then she'll go and buck. I want her to buck. Once it gets better, to once like the weather gets better and stuff. Gallops. Oh my god. Don't so scare good. her. It's just when she gallops towards you and then what? turns oh, a few she... feet away and kicks 
like yeah kind of scares you scare. yeah we need to make sure she knows that we're the boss of her but we're also trying to get we her to, also want her to be like she looks chubbier outside the camera it's okay go do it she's like i want to play <laughs> Jeez, it looks like it's gotta hurt no, your I back. Was I was cantering. Yeah, we need to give her another brush. The girls have been brushing her. Oh my god, now Sam breaks the pelvis. Well, we have no parents. <laughs> no parents. It's, it's brutally cold. Um, so we gave them some food. I'm gonna get Stella's hay ready for tonight. Um, get the, we did their water. And then now we're gonna go back up. We're gonna put Stella away, or Willow away. So the reason we did not take Stella out and introduce them today like we planned was because uh, it's really noisy out there, really spooky out there. Not a good, not a good time for Stella. Like, it's not that we're afraid. Okay, yeah, I'm afraid, but it's not just that we're afraid of her moving around too fast and stuff. She's supposed to be being calm and quiet, so that's the big reason. Like, I'm not putting her out there where it's a spooky situation. If it was nice out there today, then yeah, it would be different. But. I literally cannot believe we got a mini. So many people said, don't get a mini. And now we have a mini. And like, I, I, I just, I, think she I can't believe her. She's itching me back. Yeah, she kisses the girls. She's not really into kissing but. me yet. This is going to be one over kissed pony. Aww. <laughs> Did she lick you? No. Do you like, do you like it? She, she's you itchy. Like it? Yeah, all that hair is so itchy. I don't think horses. Well, yeah, they do lick. Yeah, they lick. Put honey on your cheek and teach them to kiss you. Oh. What's happening with Stella? Like this Stella's one? eating. That's what Stella does. Hopefully, she's getting enough food. She never seems crazed unless we let her out, and then she gets crazy. But oh. Oh. She's like, food, kiss. Oh, food, kiss. Me. Anyway, we're going back up to the house only because it's so cold. Sometimes in winter, that's what happens. Like, it's just so cold. Guys, can you tell something different about you me? Like it? Show me. You didn't brush your hair and you dressed like a slob? And then, show Gabby. Oh, and Gabby's dressed in snow pants. And I have snow pants on. You have yeah, no they're snow they're pants. So bitter. Mine no, they're have fit me for three, three years. years. I mean, five years. This is the fifth year. For like two years of school, and then we did homeschool for three years. Such a cute woolly mammoth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
So her old owner, notice I'm saying old now because I feel like she's ours finally. Her old owner said she loves attention. Sandy lips. <laughs> Sandy lips. He never ate so much spam before he started kissing Willow. Look at her crooked little nose. No, except for when we fall off, we eat sand. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We eat dirt. Who eats All right, let's go. Say goodbye.